Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with some more Dracalia Loss. Today's video going to be... Um... Something I'm gonna call Void Battle Cleanup. Because I have a bunch of Void Battles that I never did. So now I'm just gonna do them real quick for this video. <laughs> and not real quick, I'm gonna see if I can get all of them done in the 10 minute interval. Almost all of these are gonna be on auto super quickly. I just never did them for whatever reason. Uh, that's today's video. Mm, hope you like it. Uh, let's get into it. Void battles usually end up being this weird thing for me, where I feel like all the big ones I usually do, like Chimera and the, um, uh, the void battles are like Poseidon, Gene, the ones that give me actual things that, like, help me out at the, with the game. Um, but ones like this, where it's like, you have to grind them a whole bunch for a weapon to do those stages, I just never end up doing. Uh, the reason being that I don't really see a point in doing them for the most part. Uh, there is, I mean, eventually there's gonna be the thing where, um, what is it called? Uh, the compendium. I don't think that's what they're gonna call it. I forget what they're gonna call it, but it's like the thing that, um, you get bonus stats for all the items that you've collected and stuff like that. And for that, I think it'll, stuff like this will end up being useful. Um, to get weapons that you for some reason just don't have but for the most part I'm pretty positive you can get almost all the weapons that these guys like you can get from grinding them a whole bunch You can just get them from um You can just get them from other fights like they just drop so For that reason I don't really see a whole lot of point of grinding them non-stop I owe this victory to my friends Yeah, but I also think there's a certain amount of it of just like I'm not a um you know, I've been playing the game since day one, so a lot of these quests, like the ones that benefit the most from this, I think are newer players, uh, in theory. But I'm not really a new player anymore. I was. And not to say, like, not to brag and say, like, oh, I'm the best. I'm not the best. I'm just saying, like, I've been playing the game for almost two years now, heading going up to the two-year anniversary pretty soon here. Um, and just for me, I just... Don't, they haven't really given me a good incentive to do these older um, void battles. There's just no real point for me to do them. Even with 2x speed and even with um, void seeds as a thing you can get. Well, to be fair, I think void seeds you can actually... Um, the time for to what's it crimes. called? Turn them in? Yeah. yeah, that's the right word I was looking for. Turn them in. You can turn them in for money and stuff, and money's good. Uh... Because money's in a constant demand in this game. You just never, there's never not a time where you're gonna need money. Uh, it's similar to Fake Grand Order in that sense, where Fake Grand Order, you never not, you never have enough money. Only difference is that, in theory, eventually you'll reach a point where you'll have enough money, unless you're trying to 10, 10, 10 every single skill in the entire game, in which case you'll never have enough money. Um, but I think you'll reach a comfortable point where you're like, well, I don't really need to go QP hunting. In this game, it feels like there's a lot of money sinks. So for that, um, for that specific reason, then I think there's a lot of good reasons to just like nonstop grind void battles, I guess, to get them sparks. There's also titles. Oh, I bet titles will end up giving you a boost too when um, that comes out. Just make sure you don't overdo it, okay? Starlet There you go. You got him. Oh, this guy has range resistance though. It's unfortunate because a lot of our my my dudes are ranged, I believe. <laughs> my power is splendid now. My power is splendid now. Dum 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 dum. Nice. Um. But yeah, I don't know. Also, it's really nice to do these just to get. I wonder how much um, warmite we're gonna get. Someone said I'm pretty close to a hundred thousand warmite, especially if my luck keeps up. And I wonder if I can, before the two-year anniversary, actually get 100,000 Warmite as a full grand savings. I'm almost there. I think I'm with, by the end of this, I should have over 60,000 Warmite for whatever is coming next. Um, and I haven't touched that supply in a very long time. I started saving specifically for Fire Emblem Heroes crossover because I expected to get completely screwed over. And if you've seen any of my summon videos lately, didn't really happen. I'm, I'm thankful for it. Um, the funny thing is that uh, the, one of the things that I, like an adverse effect of me getting so lucky in Galavanners and actually stopping super early is that um, I no longer have 
a bunch of Eldwater. I'm actually oh, running super low on Eldwater. And if it wasn't for the, um, the Merkiel gauntlet, then I would be completely out of all that stuff. Which is funny to think about. It's like the most, like, dumb problem to have in this game where it's like, oh, I don't have enough of these. But it's actually kind of a hindrance, if I'm being honest. I would like some more pretty soon. Uh, let's see, I believe this one's dark. Yeah. Cover some stamina here and there. Oh boy. Going through it, man. Going through it. But yeah, some. Uh, the funny thing is, is, there's actually a lot of stuff I'm just like lapsed on because uh, I don't do any of the adventure stories. Because in my mind, it's always like, I'm going to save this for when um, the next big thing that I want is here, which is AKA a new MIM unit. So after Gala MIM originally released, I stopped doing all the adventure stories and stopped doing a bunch of other stories because I realized that if I just did them all, I would have more might, but I wouldn't be able to control myself. I think nowadays I have better control over my summoning Indregalia, so maybe I can actually do some of those. Maybe I'll make it a video where I just like um, read the story of some of these. Uh, um, like every, obviously when there's no news, so every like, let's see, I think by the, I believe you'll be watching this video on Monday. So how about every Tuesday we'll do Dragalia story time, where it will be me uh, going through the various stories in Dragalia. How's that sound? Obviously, not a lot of people are watching this. Well, actually, a lot of people. people. A lot of people watch my Dragalia stuff way more than I expect, um, which is always nice. I appreciate everyone who does it. Um, I us I'm trying to hold back on asking for likes on videos like this, so I usually just go, hey, if you want to, at the end. I save it for the end, I don't say it in the beginning anymore. Um, mainly because I was like, why am I pushing so hard on so many videos? You know, obviously, if I just focus more on actually making a good video, it will do me better. And for big event-style um, stuff, like for character showcases of a brand new unit, or summon banners, then I'll ask for it in the beginning. But if it's just stuff like this, where it's like, oh, I'm making this daily so people can see my Dragalia stuff and see me play it, because uh, they enjoy that kind of stuff, then I'm like, eh, hold back. <laughs> Maybe focus on actually making an entertaining video. So I hope this is entertaining to you. I think I'm in a weird, um, I think I'm a weird person when it comes to Dragalia, because I can tell you, matter of fact, I am in fact not one of the best at this game at all. Uh, yet people watch me. You can see the comments on a lot of my uh, videos actually. It's always people very nice by the way Who tell me like who correct me who give me hints about how to play better? I don't know. It's very nice that um, I'm able to find a uh, Dragalia has a community where they're actually willing to watch people like me Where it's like well this guy's not the best at it, but there's something about him There's something about the looper that I love and I want to support him, and I thank you for that support, of course. Uh, especially as I'm doing stuff like this, where <laughs> I'm just doing a bunch of Void Battle stuff because... I don't know. You know, so here's my thought process of why sometimes I'm like, I'm gonna do this for a video. And the reason is, is that I make videos for the most part that I feel like not a lot of other... And maybe this is me coming from uh, um, the Dragon Ball side of Gacha videos. Where I feel like a lot of people always do like, here's a really interesting setup with these characters, and that's the videos that they do. And I feel like those videos are cool, and I watch a lot of those videos, but I feel like that's not the kind of videos I want to do. The only kind of videos I would ever want to do with that was Shonen Jump or Collection in its original form. It no longer exists in its original form, so I can't really make it, but... Um, for the most part, I always like showing, like, I'm an actual player of this game. This is what you do in this game. For better or worse, this is really just what you do in this game. And I feel like that's, um, a casual look in the game is as good as a super high intense. Obviously, it's not as sexy. Obviously, the great sexy videos are the ones where they show Marf jumping over some cool shit. And that's real cool shit and it deserves all the attention it gets. Um, but I don't know, I think there's a market somewhere out there for people like me who just want to play the game and be like, yo, isn't it weird that we all have to do this? And then everyone goes, damn, he just like me. <laughs> he also has to look at the golem strikes. Uh, let's do, uh, let's end it with 
Hmm. Still a decent amount here. We'll end it with one of these dudes. Yeah, we'll end it on 2x. Especially because we're gonna have the Suave. I'm very good, no? Magnifique. That's exactly how he talks. I don't care what you say. I don't care if you're gonna tell me that's not what that guy sounds like. King Ghidorah's master over here 100% sounds like that. And I. I fail to see you if you don't believe me. Oh, it's the piggy man. I fought one of these pig dudes uh, before. No. Oh, this one means business. Uh oh. <laughs> That's why I was like, oh wait, these all freeze everyone. That bad. I'll do what I want. That means Tiki also evolved. And of course. No, good job, Tiki. Tiki did that while Urius watched. My power is splendid, no? My power is splendid, no? Mm. That's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it. If you did, remember to leave a like. Comment about how you feel about Void Battles. I know where any of the stuff I really talked about. Or tell me how you doing. I'll always listen. I'll always read. Sometimes I won't always comment back, but I will always read what you say. We mustn't um, let Fragonos be revived. Oh, wait. This is how we should end it. That's how you say his name? Fragonoff? Okay, never mind. 250. Did we make it over? We didn't make it over. What? 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 Look at all these epithets. What? Come on, son. Come on. That's the end of today's video, everyone. I'll see you guys in the next one. Till next time, everyone. Goodbye.